Hey everyone, this is a run that I'm going to do with my gunner to show you my rotations and whatnot. It's an impossible, again, on Tau Experimental Station. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for this uh, Born Assassin, assassin or uh, Healing Orbs. Since I'm just going to be explaining the rotations, I'll try it, but... I might have to explain on a boss, since this one the enemies are kind of spread out. Can't can't target it. There we go. You can see you don't really need many rotations on trash mobs, but I think that's just about with any good DPS. I mean, you kill them so fast, there's... Like, Berserker, you might group up a bunch of mobs by running past them and then spin to win. My Berserker I actually think is easier to uh, kill trash mobs with than bosses. My gunner is actually better at bosses, funnily enough. Okay, so here I start with Orbital after popping Vulnerability Scanner. Then I start using Missiles, Mine Ring. If I had the double base damage that would be nice. You want, you want to dodge away from this guy. Once you're done with missiles, you use flamethrower, followed by full auto. Once your plasma gets full, use that and you shoot six times. Once you have six, you have enough. Oh, it's already dying. Okay, then I switch back to missiles. But the reason why you shoot six times is that the uh, You'll, the plasma field lasts about six shots with that 50% chance to not reduce the duration and um, and you'll have a lot enough plasma energy left over to do a plasma stream and that'll unload the rest of it and then you switch back and do flamethrower again followed by full auto and then uh, want your missiles should be at least over half full and then you can switch back to missiles if you're so inclined to do so. But yeah, I killed them a little faster than I was expecting since it's on impossible, but nothing I can do about that.
full auto with uh, it spec'd out the way I have it will actually do more damage than your normal pulse shot. Especially since it procs all the damage over time. Symbols. Maybe this boss will last a bit longer. You'll be able to pay a bit closer attention to my rotation. I hear the next patch, the gunner gets a, t uh, a talent that they can use that um, <coughs> makes you be able to continue firing at normal speed when your weapon is overheated and it adds a damage over time to it. So that'll be pretty awesome. Okay, my orbital bombardment isn't ready so I'll go straight into missiles. They want a pop shield. Oh, and I was caught. That was fail. This guy you can't really be close to when he pops down. Okay, flamethrower. We'll go this way so I don't get trapped. Switch. That's funny. I died right there. But anyway, see, that's that's it. That's the rotation that you gotta do. And uh, the only thing you gotta watch out for is, like I said, I don't have a ton of HP because I haven't upgraded my temples a lot. But that means I also do a ton of damage that I'm doing. Uh, that I'm it, like, it's impossible. And you can see how fast I'm killing the mobs. But um, I mean, you only have to watch for those bosses that can kill you in one to two hits if you are in the wrong place at the wrong time like I was at the start of here and uh, getting trapped back here I probably could have made it if I had dodged two times but uh, there you have it there's my rotation I hope you all uh, give it a try maybe before the patch I'm sure it'll change when the patch comes out and now I'll probably uh, record an OI and uh, I may not be talking during it since it could be my uh, Pantheon mates talking but uh, I'll show you the damage that I do compared to them and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to tell whether I'm getting the injection buffs or someone else's <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah thanks for watching